What's going on? I'm Anton. Welcome back for more GTA 5 LS PDFR. On today's episode, I blow my horn. Yep, people just feel free to feel free to ignore the lights and the sirens. Man, these people are stupid. A piece of metal goes bananas. What is it doing? It's attacking the car. Get away from my car, you possessed piece of scrap metal. And Oh, something stinks. An empty glass bottle <laughs> labeled farts. Okay, do not, uh, it might be empty, but it's labeled farts. So let's not open that bottle up. Now, before we begin, a huge shout out to Danger Game Styler. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate that. And if you want a shout out, all you gotta do is leave a like on the video and put a comment down below. Now, today we're going to do a patrol out here in a brand new 2018 Dodge Charger. And stay tuned because at the end of the video, we're gonna see what happens when we put it into a giant shredder. <gasps> but before we begin, let's quickly take a look here at this vehicle. Looks absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of the Chargers. The newer, these kind of 2015, 2016, 2018 Chargers are one of my favorite police vehicles. Now, this one is a Los Santos Police Department, but it's actually based on, I believe it's St. Paul West or West St. Paul, Minneapolis, however it's called. But that is actually what the police vehicles there look like. And this is created by Maurice 97 here. And this is absolutely fantastic texture on a fantastic livery on a great looking car. You don't usually see them in this kind of this dark bluish color, but I do like the uh, highlights there on the sides as well. The one of the coolest things about this car though is let me show you, it's uh, the lights. And I'm ju I'll jump inside first. Let me quickly give you a look here inside the vehicle. The windshield is actually not too bad. I find on the chargers it is a little bit narrow sometimes. We do have our radar. Look at that, the hands are on the wheel. That's always important. Not every model has that. And then here's our police computer. We got, of course, our camera mounted here as well. So fully loaded this vehicle. And then in the back, there's the passenger compartment. We do have our shotguns sticking up. There's the divider, looks really good. Um, there's a dome light up here as well, in case you need some more lighting here when you're doing our police report. The car comes with, you can see, um, Apple CarPlay is enabled in here. So that's fantastic. You can listen to some tunes, um, podcasts, audiobooks whatever you know um, and then yeah there's really no issues here with the vehicle nothing like that it looks really really good so let me show you those lights now because this car is absolutely fantastic looking with the lights I'm gonna walk you through the emergency lighting system we're gonna I just hear a shot go there's a shot there's the guy's just firing on people what the <laughs> hold on we're getting started here on our patrol already I haven't even done anything oh my god dispatch three out of ten <gasps> got shots being fired right out here by the station all right, here we go. I dispatch uh, three Adam 10 suspect is down on Vespucci Boulevard requesting immediate uh, paramedic assistance here. Send 1052 our way. Let's get let's get these guys over here. That was uh, an unbelievable start to the episode. I was about to show you the lights when this guy came out of absolutely nowhere i have I, I don't even know what he's doing out here and i guess he was trying to attack the police station i don't know if he was going after me or he's just going after whoever and he had an automatic weapon that he began firing i discharged as you saw my gun and now we're just waiting for the paramedics and the first responders to arrive here they come they should be able to um <laughs> pack him in and send him home hopefully well send him to the hospital i hope because I want to ask him some questions as to what Do happened. Not Do not panic. I almost panicked. That was crazy. I can't believe that actually happened. Come on. That was insane. All right. Are those guys going to get out? No, they're just going to sit there. They're going to let the fire fire guy here, the fireman, do his job. Look at this dude over here. They're like, and this guy too. They're like nonchalant. They're like, yeah, whatever. We're just walking oh, through. Jesus, he did. We okay, we lost him. Hey, excuse me. No, you can't just walk right into the dead guy. Look at that. He's walking right on top of him. He doesn't even care. Hey, you. So All right. Close. Well, so close. All right, let's go ahead here and quickly search the ground here. I want to see if maybe we can find ourselves an ID. Dominic Braga is going to be this guy's name. There we go. We found uh, some ID there, so that's good. Monica Matheson is dead as well. Who is she? Oh, she was the one that was gunned down by that guy. Oh, she's over there. I did not even see her. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well then, uh, two people already dead at the beginning of this episode. All right. Let's go ahead here. And uh, I did not want to search the ground. What I wanted to do was, um, after I'm done searching the ground here, I wanted to place some. Uh, I wanted to place some barriers here using police tape. 
um, to just kind of rope off this entire area. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll toggle the continuous mode on. See if this hap if this works. Um, oh, nope. Placed it the wrong way. All right, let's try this one more time right over here. There we go. We used the wrong button here. We'll have some extra police tape right over here. Look at that. That looks really good. I love this police tape plug in here that Parks created. Oh, we got blood over here, so let me just tape all of this off. Right here. Just gonna put these barriers like that. Uh, let's see, like so. And then there we go, all taped off. Ready to go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All taped off, all ready to go. Don't be walking out here, people. You see that guy just walked right through the body. I'm gonna tape off the other body there as well. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, can we get... Uh, 1079 out here on Vespucci Boulevard. We got uh, a couple of people dead, unfortunately. All right, looks like the coroner is arriving right now. Are they going to handle the situation? If there's no pedestrians over here, I'm not going to really worry about taping off the area. I just wanted to make sure that's taped off. Because look at that. There's another guy over there. He's about to walk right into it. No, he turned around. He's like, whoa, there's a crime scene here. So he went the other way. Yeah, that's right. You go the other way. I'm going to stand. Oh, she's coming. Lady, no, 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 no. Lady, turn around. Go back the other way. No, 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 no. Okay, are they coming this way? They're gonna run over. Lady, no, no, this is blocked off. This is blocked off. This is blocked off. This is blocked off. Yep, that's right. Head back the other way, please. She just, she was going for it. All right, poor, poor woman. I can't believe she got gunned down right in front of us too. That is really, really sad. I wonder if maybe we can find some ID there. I think the uh, paramedics already got the ID off her. Yeah, there it is. Monica Matheson is her name. All right, well, she's been bagged. He's been bagged. They're going to go to the morgue. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to ask him any questions because he is dead. I'm going to get back in my car and we'll start our patrol, even though it already started. All right, we're just coming out of the station right now. Now, remember I told you I was going to show you the lights, so let me quickly pull over. I'll walk you through those here as we get on our patrol. Here it is, stage one of our emergency lighting system. You can see now there the traffic advisors have been activated in the light bar. Nothing else active. Now stage two, the light bar is coming to life. I do love these kind of two layers, as you can see there in the light bar. And now, of course, in the back as well. But the truly awesome light setup is, of course, stage three. And you can see, even though maybe in the back, now the light bar is fully activated, but maybe in the back it does not look as impressive, but you just wait. I'm gonna turn it uh, here to the front and check that out. Look how cool that looks. That light bar just comes to life. We got some lights there behind our windshield, right on our push bar as well. The wigwags have been activated now as well. Those are the lights that are flashing, the headlights going back and forth in case you, know, you don't know what wigwags are. So really, really cool looking car. I do love the lights here. And uh, let's get out here onto the streets. It's a little foggy tonight um, out here in um, in uh, Los Santos Vespucci area. We got a call here coming in for a vehicles racing. And uh, my sirens are not working. What the heck? The default sirens are working, but the actual sirens are not working. What is going on? All right, we're going to have to use the default sirens for now. I have no idea what happened to Siren Mastery. All right, let's go ahead and respond here. Code 2 out here to the area. We're going to investigate the area. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, responding code 2 out there. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Vehicles are racing. Looks like we're about to get some more information. Two vehicles. Ah, oh my God, that was so close. <gasps> wow. Dark gray sedan. Okay. I think we might have them over here. Suspect two in a silver sedan. Silver sedan. A gray, dark gray sedan and a silver sedan. I believe we have them right over here somewhere. I see somebody running. I don't know if this is related. That could be... Well, that's like a dark sedan. Oh, there's a fire over there. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Do we have an air unit available to assist here? Uh, we got a fire on Magellan Avenue. And you can just go ahead and crash my game, I guess. I guess they're not going to be available to assist. Perfect. Lovely. All right, well, I got LSPD fire reloaded. I'm not sure why it crashed. Could be something to do with these suspects taking off on us on foot. And I did manage to get Siren Mastery restarted as well. So the sirens, as you can see, are working now. Um, yeah, dispatch. I'm going to have to go check out and see if I can catch up to these people. They're technically still running, even though LSPD fire did crash earlier. We still have the suspects running. So I'm going to see if I can catch up here to them. One of them is right here on Palomino Avenue, looks like. And I believe that's going to be that individual right there in that green t-shirt. Or, or green shirt, whatever that is he's wearing. See if I can maybe cut him off right here. Oh, <laughs> ran right into my car. Yeah, that's right, buddy. 
run right into my vehicle. Hey, man. Get your... Nope, he's running the other way now. Hey, get back here. Los Santos Police Department. Oh, I'm stuck. Go, 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 go. That guy's just taking off. Wow, he is going for it. Oh, my God. I fell down. All right, I'm going to get back into my vehicle. I'm going to get back into my cars. I keep falling down. I keep tripping on this grass. Why do I keep falling over? Oh, my God. Stop falling over. What is wrong with him? Am I drunk? I might be drunk. I don't know. All right, let me turn back around here. That guy just took off in the other direction now. I'm gonna see if I can catch up to him here as we go on the opposite lanes of traffic. That's not good. Um, where is he? He went back, looks like, towards uh, where they were earlier. So yeah, these guys are still running even though LSPDFR crashed earlier. They're still, as you can see, trying to escape, trying to evade, uh, well, evade capture and evade arrest. All right, don't you run. Don't you run, man. Don't run. Don't run. All right, he's running. He's continuing to run here. I'm gonna tase him. Uh, hey. Hey. Why do I keep falling over? I'm never gonna be able to catch up at this rate. You know what? I'm just gonna end up shooting him. As much as I want to arrest him, I'm just gonna have to shoot him if I keep falling over like this. And I just can't catch up to him. All right, here we go. 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 Taser activated right in the hand I got him there, or in his arm. Hey, man, get your hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I still gotta go after his buddy. All right, get on the ground, man. I finally got you. You thought you could get away, but no, I got you. Let's go ahead and put him into custody here. Dispatch, I got a suspect in custody. Tony Franco is his name. All right, Tony, you got anything illegal here on you before I take you? Nope, he says. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get him back to my vehicle. We got a vehicle with an insecure load. I'm a little busy right now, Dispatch. We got suspects here we're trying to chase down. Let me go ahead here and get back to my car. We'll give him a quick pad down. I might get him picked up, actually, right away. Because we still need to go after the second suspect that is somewhere on the beach, I think. Or somewhere in that general area. Alright, so he said he does not have anything illegal on him. Let me go ahead and pat him down here quickly. So he was one of the guys that was racing. That was the initial call that we got before LSPD Bar decided to crash on us. Dispatch, I'm busy right now. Not available for calls. No. No dispatch, no. Some jewelry in a bag. Maybe that's why he's running. And a piece of stale toast is what Tony Franco has on his person. Uh, dispatch, can I get a 1027 on a Tony Franco? Let's find out who Tony is here. And that is going to come back with a valid license, no active warrants. Okay, dispatch, I'm going to need a 1091 on Goma Street and a Guja Street. A Guja Street? I, I don't even know how to pronounce that correctly. A Guja. A Guja Street. All right, there, there they come. They're going to pick this guy up. And we're still got to go after our second suspect. He's out there running somewhere, I think, on the beach. Don't hit that telephone pole, you stupid idiot. All right, let's jump back into the car. Man, I love the light bar on the uh, on the vehicle. It's a Code 3 light bar, I believe. And it looks amazing. Amazing. All right, let's go see if we can find him. Yeah, he's definitely on the beach. All right, people, coming through. Coming through. All right, let's see here. So if I cut through right here... Now, we might be able to just cut through the pedestrian traffic over here and get right onto the beach. All right, people. Watch out, Tony Franco has been picked up, so that was our first suspect. The second one is here somewhere. I think he might be running back. Looks like maybe. All right, I'm technically not supposed to be driving over here, but you know what? We're in a pursuit. And, ooh, that is not gonna be good for my bumper. Uh, we're technically in a pursuit, so we, you know, we're okay. We're a police officer, we can do this, I think. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to check with the Sarge afterwards. All right, where's this guy? Oh, there he is, I got him. He's just running over here now, okay. Yeah, he's getting back on the beach. Yeah, you thought you could get away, man. I'm gonna give him a little tap. See if we can tap him just slightly, just slightly, just like, like that, like that. There you go, that's all we need, that's all we need. We don't need to go anything crazy here on him. Hey, man, get your hands up, hands up, hands up. Taser deployed, there we go, he was not giving up. Get your hands up, man, get on the ground, get back on the ground, back on the ground. Look at those people, they're having a campfire, that is so awesome. There's all these little things in the game that you never really see until you actually see them and you're like wow that is so cool look at that the lights on the city coming on a little bit foggy today kind of like a smoggy foggy night but these people are hanging out on the beach they're having a good time all right wow what is his name granciano morel granciano morel do you have anything illegal there on you man tell me now i don't know check for yourself I will check for myself. Have you been drinking today at all, sir? I'm sharp as an eagle. No alcohol in my blood. <gasps> okay. If you say so. 
Let's go ahead and pat him down. We will give him a breathalyzer test because he is clearly under the influence of potentially something out here. Let's get him back towards my car as well here before we do those tests on his person. He's got some jewelry in the bag. And note which reads, YouTube sucks. Twitch is one billion times better. Hmm. Might be worth trying Twitch then, according to this guy. Greciano Morel. That is a cool name, man. Uh, dispatch, uh, this is 3 Adam 10. Can I get a 1027 check on it? Graciano Morel, born in 1994. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Take him back to my car. He's got a valid license, no active warrants. The jewelry in the bag is definitely um, questionable because both of them had jewelry in the bag, so I don't know what that's all about. Okay, man, turn around for me. We're going to do a quick little test here. It's a breathalyzer test. Just want to see if you've been drinking today at all, so go ahead and uh, blow into this device for me, and the device here is going to show us zero. So, um, he might have just maybe been burping or something like that, trying to give me a hard time, I guess. Alright, let's get you in, put in the vehicle. Uh, go ahead and uh, turn back around here for me. I'm going to put him in the car, and then we'll get him picked up here by one of these officers. And uh, get back on patrol. No, I'm not kidding you, man. I'm not kidding you at all. You got to get in there, buddy. All right, there we go. He is in custody, and let's get off the beach. Adam 10, citizens report a driver under the influence on... Okay, Prosperity impaired Street driver. Citizens looks like calling that in. <laughs> All right, roger that dispatch. 3, Adam 10, responding code 3. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can catch up here. He's in the Vespucci Canals, so I'm going to see if maybe he's going to come up this way. He's currently down there somewhere, so let's see. I think he is coming up this way, actually. So let's go ahead and turn off our lights so we don't scare him. And I believe it's going to be one of these cars that just entered the intersection. Uh, which one is it? Which one is driving really bad? They're both driving really bad. I think it's that black car over there. Uh, they're both, yeah, he's swerving. Oh, he just collided with a vehicle right at the intersection, causing actually a multiple vehicle collision there. But both of these guys are driving pretty bad, I must say. But it's going to be this, uh, I believe it's a Dominator. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. I do have that vehicle located. We're going to be southbound Bay City Avenue. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Yeah, you're definitely getting pulled over. Yep, for sure. Pull on over. Yep, there you go. Uh, it's not the best spot to stop him. You know what? I'm going to move him through the lights here so we can get onto the other side of the road. That way we would unblock traffic. No, excuse me. Coming through. Watch out. That guy was kind of surprised, I think, by what he just saw. He's like, whoa. That guy's going on a red light, but then he's like, oh, there's a cop behind him. I uh, dispatch 3 Adam 10. We're going to be 1038 on Conquistador Street at Magellan Avenue here with that vehicle. Let me jump inside my computer see who we might be dealing with. We do have an alert here for expired insurance on the Dominator driven by a Devin Morris or maybe it's registered to a Driven Morris. We'll see if Devin is in the car. License is valid if he is driving. He's got no warrants out for his arrest. Been stopped once before, but there's nothing on history. Probably a long time ago, maybe he got a ticket, maybe not, who knows. Let's get out, we do have a bigger thing to worry about, which is of course that DUI. I'm not really um, concerned about his lack of insurance right now, so let's get out, we're gonna go talk to him, and uh, see what's going on with him tonight, ask him some questions, probably do a sobriety test as well. Oh, and he's taken off, forget about the sobriety test, he is running, get back in the car, man! Back in the car, stop running around the vehicle, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. I do have that car taken off on me. Looks like he's going to be coming off Conquistador Street here onto the boardwalk. Or attempting to come onto the boardwalk here. Yeah, this is going to be a very dangerous situation. Dispatch, I need additional units out here immediately. We're going to be on uh, right on the beach boardwalk. Lots of pedestrians out here. He just ran somebody down. Watch out, people. He is dangerously driving here through the crowds of people. Thankfully, it is getting a little bit late here at night. So, not a heck of a lot of people out here, but this is a very, very dangerous situation. You can see there's still enough people here on the boardwalk. They're just barely getting out of his way. I gotta take it very easy around here. I don't want to run anybody down. <laughs> I hear people getting smashed back there by the AI, though. Wow, he's kind of taken off on us now. Alright, we got another officer trying to intercept him. I'm gonna go this way. He's gonna get off the boardwalk, hopefully. And head, I don't know where he's heading to, but we got another officer coming in right around the corner here. And, uh, I think they're going down towards the Coast Guard station, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I see the flashing lights there. Yep, people just feel free to- feel free to ignore the lights and the sirens. Man, these people are stupid. Alright, he's turning back around. He's trying to come through this way now. Let's see if we can just block him off like that. There we go. He's getting out. He's, get, he's getting back in the car. I don't know what he's doing. Sir, out of the vehicle, man. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get your hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up, get your hands up, get on the ground, man. On the ground, we got officers there. Watch your crossfire, officers. 
They got me covered as well. All right, I'm gonna move in for the arrest. Wow, what an end to this pursuit there. I can't believe we just successfully blocked him in. He like got out of the vehicle and he thought of maybe getting back in and escaping, but we got him. Uh, dispatch three out of 10. We're gonna be code four on that pursuit. Suspect is in custody. All right, Devin Morris. That is definitely who is registered to the vehicle, man. That is the guy. Confused and disoriented. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why. Why are you running from police today, man? You got, uh, you been drinking at all? Oh, uh, yeah! I had a sip of wine! Uh, you had more than a sip of wine. Have you done any drugs recently? Oh, I do drugs for my medical condition! Okay, well, what the heck is going on over there? There's something like... What is that? Oh my god! What the? Something's gone haywire. Alright, watch out, man. We're gonna have to move this guy. We're gonna, but we're about to get hit by whatever that is. That is a possessed piece of metal. Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, that was coming right for us. It is trying to get us. It is Halloween month, but come on, this is possessed. It is a possessed piece of metal. What is it doing? It's attacking the car. Get away from my car, you possessed piece of scrap metal. Look at that, it's like going after my charger. No, no, it is coming back for us. All right, I'm gonna go stand over here. Far away from it as possible. I'm gonna use, you know, I'm gonna use the cars to block us off from that possessed piece of metal. Yeah, it's, it's gone, it's going somewhere else. It gave up. It's gonna go somewhere else. That is pretty funny, actually. All right, man, you got anything illegal on you before I pat you down? I gotta keep, I gotta keep my eye on that thing. What? <laughs> it's coming back for us. Uh, what did he say there to me, uh, asking him if he's got anything illegal? Oh, uh, maybe yes, maybe no. All right, that's, this thing is coming back. What? Let's see if I can shoot it. Where did it go? Did it disappear? Is it gone? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Thankfully, Woo! it's gone. I was about to shoot it. It is gone. All right, maybe yes, maybe no. Let's go ahead and find out here if he does have anything illegal here. Uh, we got rapid eye movement. Yeah, he's probably intoxicated. We'll do a quick uh, test here with him, a quick sobriety test, even though he is definitely going to jail tonight for, I mean, for running from the cops to begin with. Um, let's see here. Uh, some LSD and a can of pepper spray. Okay, so there you go. We're going to confiscate the LSD. And you said, well, he did say maybe yes. He had something illegal on him. All right, let's get him uh, moved over here now since the possessed piece of scrap metal is gone and we're maybe gonna use this line right over here to do our test all right sir so we're gonna do a quick little sobriety test here all right what I need you to do is I need you to just walk on this line right over here all right you can go this way sure just need you to walk like this all right just right down the line right down the middle of the line all right then you come over here to this car you turn back around and you walk back towards me okay sir can you do that for me can you absolutely do that for me let's see here let's try that right here sir so go ahead can walk and turn. Let's do that test. Uh, please issue a warning. I have to release him. Oh man. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to release him. But let's. You know what? Let's release him just for the purposes of the test. Um, since it's not allowing me to do the test, I'm gonna uh, take the handcuffs off him. Then I'm gonna stop him again. All right. All right. Don't go anywhere. There you go. Turn back around. Turn back around. No. Come back here. Come back here. Crazy. Don't go anywhere. Wow. All right. Hold up. You want to come over here with me again? Okay. Yeah, confused and disoriented. I can see that. I can see that. Let's get right back here. Okay. And we're going to do our tests, okay? Hey. Go ahead and walk and turn for me. Okay. Right down towards the car. All right, turn around. Walk right down towards the car right there. All right, on the line. Uh, yeah, you can see he's not walking on the line. All right, turn around. Come back towards me. On the line again. Yeah, he's kind of, you can see he's kind of like all over the place. Okay. All right, fantastic, sir. Uh, you definitely did not pass the test. Look, at see off balance. He's unsteady. Uh, definitely not heel to toe. Okay, sir. We're going to do one more test here. We're going to try a horizontal gaze test. Okay, I just need Thanks. you to follow my pencil. Come over here. All right, let's take a look here. Not good. No, not at all. Okay, just keep looking at it. Just follow it with your eyes, not with your head. Definitely did not pass. There you go. He's all jittery. He's got head movement. Okay, and last test we're going to do today, sir. It's going to be a breathalyzer test. I'm just gonna need you to um, take a deep breath and then blow right into this device for me. Let's see how drunk he is because he's clearly Thanks. under the influence. And that is going to show us a point one two nine. So there you go. He is <laughs> drunk. Okay, sir. So you're definitely under arrest now for driving under, under the influence and evading police. I mean, he took us on a very reckless chase. He ran somebody down back there too. I hope they're okay. I think maybe the officers there pulled over to help that person. But this guy definitely going to uh, to jail today. Go ahead and just sit down for me um, here on the ground. Do you need to go to the hospital at all? At all? No? You're going to be okay? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look here inside his vehicle. 
see if we got anything exciting in there. Some more LSD, because remember, I found that LSD on him. Uh, uh, nothing of interest except a pet collar, a compound bow, an empty glass bottle <laughs> labeled farts. Okay, do not, uh, it might be empty, but it's labeled farts, so let's not open that bottle up. Oh boy, okay, that's a surprise. Surprising, that's for sure. Alright, let me get this guy picked up, so he doesn't run away on us, and we're gonna do that test for that LSD. Uh, dispatch, uh, can we get a 1091 uh, here on uh, right off Bay City Avenue by the Coast Guard Station for my suspect in custody? Maybe this officer over here will pick him up? Maybe not? He's trying to get to him. Do I need to move my car up for you, officer? We're causing a bit of a traffic jam out here. Everybody all of a sudden coming down to the Coast Guard Station. There we go. Let's get this officer to move up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back of my vehicle. We're going to put that LSD in the trunk and then we're going to do a regent test to really yeah, see if it's LSD. Good. It looks like it could be LSD, but we're not really sure. So here's what I'm going to do using this interaction plugin. I'm going to go ahead and store evidence and uh, we're going to dive right into the trunk here and uh, we're going to put in some LSD that we found or what appears to look like LSD. And now that it's in the trunk, what we can do here once we put it in there is now we can run a test on it. So let's go ahead here and do a roadside drug regent test. So we're going to open the trunk back up again. And there's our evidence. Now we're going to be testing it for LSD, which is going to be this region right here. So let's go ahead and put that. So we basically put it into a little pouch. We shake it up. And if it turns purple, I believe, it is LSD. And it does turn purple. So there you go. That is positive for LSD. So we'll store that evidence there in the car. That is definitely going to be used against him in the court of law. I don't know what this officer is doing, but he's about to run me over here with his Tahoe. And he's going to get out of here. I'm going to get this vehicle co uh, towed and we'll be uh, code four off this call. Now, at the beginning of the episode, I promised you we're going to put this car into a giant shredder. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. As you can see, there it is. It is literally a giant shredder out here in Blaine County. And the car goes right in there. And then we're, <laughs> we're going to see what happens. Here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Ah! Whoa! Oh, oh my god, right off the bat here, blades hitting the car as we go right down here. Oh yeah, it is getting oh, 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 man. oh boy, we're like stuck in the blades. I don't even know where we are. <laughs> what is going on? It is like so stuck here. God oh boy. It. It's on fire. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's on fire. It is so damn stuck. It. It's on fire. It's like all shaking. I don't even know what's happening. Christ's sake. Christ's sake indeed. Oh, man. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't even know! <laughs> I don't even know. Don't even know what to say to that. Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it. It is just going crazy. Oh, we just got kicked out of the shredder. Look, <laughs> look at that. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. It's gonna come down right here. And yeah, there you go. Just got kicked out of the shredder and this thing looks destroyed. Yeah. Oh, still somewhat drivable. I can't believe that. You can still drive this thing. It's on fire. But look at that. It looks like a go-kart now doesn't even resemble anything like a charger with the lights are still working oh looks like the engine just went out <laughs> look at that thing it looks like a go-kart that's what it looks like now that's it and the engine kind of died i can't i'm pressing gas but it's not going anywhere my head is sticking through the roof the lights surprisingly enough are still working look at that it does all smashed in all right let's see if we can get out i'm surprised i'm alive here oh boy see that's what happens when you put <laughs> a brand new 2018 dot charger in a giant shredder. Wow. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? And check out some more videos here on the channel. You will love them. I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.